Hi guys, today we are going to study about super mesh analysis. Okay, when we will go with super mesh analysis in the sense, if a branch in a network is having a current source, then it is difficult to apply mesh analysis directly. Okay, we can apply mesh analysis, but it is somewhat difficult to apply mesh analysis directly. Okay, at that kind of situations, we will go for super mesh analysis. And super mesh analysis consists of a common current source by two adjacent loops. Let us consider this circuit. This is a voltage source and three resistors are there. Okay. So if you want to find the loop current along this loop, then it is somewhat difficult. Why? Because here some current source is present. Current source is present. Okay. So we have to assume some uh, voltage. Uh, let us say VR is flowing through this uh, current source. And uh, for this uh, current source, we have to uh, write the mesh equations. And after equating the mesh equations and all those things, we'll get the loop currents. Okay. So by using super mesh analysis directly, we can find the Currents, loop currents, I1, I2, I3 simply. Okay, so now uh, we will analyze the super mesh analysis by considering this uh, network. Okay, so let us consider here uh, this is the super mesh. Here two amp source is there. This is the super mesh. So let us consider this is loop I1 and this second loop is I2 and third loop as I3. Okay. Now, for mesh 1, we are applying mesh analysis. For mesh 1, that is 50 is equal to 10 into 10 into what are the currents flowing through this resistance? I1 in this direction and I2 in this direction okay so that is 10 into i1 minus i2 i1 minus i2 plus next one is this 5 ohms resistor in this 5 ohms resistor also i1 current flowing like this and i3 is in this direction plus 5 into i1 minus i3 this is 10 into I1 minus 10 into I2 plus 5I1 minus 5I3 is equal to 50. Now it is 10I1 plus 5I1, 15I1 minus 10I2 minus 5I3 is equal to 50. Let us consider this one as Equation 1. Now, mesh 2. Mesh 2 is a super mesh. Here we have to apply super mesh analysis. Now, mesh 2. I am starting from this 2 ohms resistor. 2 into I2 plus, okay, so remove this branch. And write the mesh equation. 1 into I3 plus now this resistance 5 into I3 in this direction and I1 in this direction plus 5 into I3 minus I1 I3 minus I1 plus 10 into I2 minus I1 is equal to 0. Okay, after 5 ohms resistance, 10 into I2 minus I1 is equal to 0, which is 2I2 plus I3 plus 5I3 minus 5I1 plus 10I2 minus 10I1 is equal to 0. 
So I1 terms minus I1 minus 10 I1 totally minus 15 I1 minus 15 I1 plus 2 I2 10 I2 plus 12 I2 plus 6 I3 is equal to 0. Okay. This is equation 2. And now the current source, this current source is equal to I2 minus I3. I2 minus I3. I2 minus I3. What is I2 minus I3? I2 minus I3 is equal to 2 amperes. Let us consider this is equation 3. Okay. So, now on solving all these three equations, on solving 1, 2 and 3, 1 and 2 and 3, we will get I1 is equal to 20 amperes and I2 is equal to 17.3 and I3 is equal to 15.3 amperes. Okay. This is about super mesh analysis. Thank you.